Hi, I'm Daryl. And I'm Joanna, and we're both students in the Dallas Independent School District. Welcome to an all-new edition of School Zone Dallas, the show that brings you all of the very best of DISD. And today we've got a lot of ground to cover, so just take a quick look at what's heading your way. Thanks, you guys. As you can see, I'm getting ready to go into surgery. Well, actually, I'm going to view a surgical procedure. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. What's the first word that comes to mind when you think of ballet? Beautiful, of course. Ballet is beautiful. And at Eduardo Mata Elementary School in East Dallas, ballet is not only beautiful, it's big. Really big. I'll be back later in the program to show you more. Hi, I'm Rafia here at the Yvonne AU at Townview Magnus Center, where behind me preparations are underway for a parade celebrating the school's 10th anniversary. All of that, plus a special visit by the one and only President of the United States. So get set to experience the Dallas Independent School District front and center on School Zone Dallas. Dallas. Hi, I'm Daryl, a senior at the Law Magnet High School at the Yvonne A. Yule Town View Magnet Center. And I'm Joanna, a senior at Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts. Today, School Zone Dallas meets DISD schools that have been named exemplary by the Texas Education Agency, one of their highest honors. And what better place to do just that than right here at James B. Bunham Elementary, just north of downtown Dallas. For the past two years, this school has received exemplary status, no doubt the result of tons of hard work and dedication on behalf of staff, students, and teachers alike. We'll be learning more about Bonham Elementary throughout the show, as well as profile other DISD schools that have been named exemplary. But first, let's start off with a classic School Zone Dallas story that shows just how far DISD educators were willing to go to make a lesson memorable for students. It's a history lesson come to life for students at Nathan Adams Elementary. Here's Alfonso to tell us all about it. Who doesn't love chocolate? But could you imagine having to go months or even years without chocolate? I know I couldn't do it. Hi, I'm Alfonso and we're here at Nathan Adams Elementary where students are learning about our nation's history and having a sweet time doing it. My parachutes and marshmallow clouds. We read two books. The first one was But No Candy by Gloria Houston. And then we read the other book is called Mercedes and the Chocolate Pilot. And it's set in Berlin during the Berlin airlift in 1948 about another little girl who um, heard about a pilot, an American pilot, Lieutenant Colonel Hal um, Gail Halverson is his name. And he was dropping candy for the children in Berlin. He made little parachutes with handkerchiefs, and this is a true story, that's the, the neat thing about it. Lieutenant Halverson, 22 years later, he was a colonel, and he went back to Berlin, and he met Mercedes. She had children of her own, and she invited the chocolate pilot over to her house, and she got to meet him and know what he was all about, and they were friends forever. So. And my parents live upstate New York, and they asked me one day, have you heard of this book called Mercedes and the Chocolate Pilot? And I said, yes, I'm reading it to a class right now. And they said, well, there's an article in the paper about it, and I'll send it to you. There was a school up in their area who, the, the school had dropped, done one of these, recreation of the story, had dropped the candy for the students. And the, the pictures in their article were just, just made you want to do it. <laughs> it's like, oh. And I brought it here and showed it to the principal and she and said, I think we could do this. We have the Addison Airport close by. Surely somebody can help us here. So the first thing we did was I actually asked my dad to get on the roof and experiment with the parachutes to see if they would actually open and what material would work best. And then we contacted the helicopter, ran a dry run with them to see if it would work and bought the um, chocolate and the uh, plastic tablecloths and string and gave them to the teachers to make the parachutes. All the teachers had some work to do because we all had to put together 36 parachutes, which took, which took a little time. Personally, I did it at home watching the cowboy game <laughs> in front of the TV.
they were excited, they were surprised, they were um, intrigued, and for the mo most everyone got a, a chocolate bar, which was fun. The coolest part was that they immediately knew that it was the chocolate pilot and made the recognition with the story. I was standing beside a preschool class and they looked up and they went, it's just like in the story. <laughs> I felt very excited and I was, I just can't really explain it, it was just all kinds of different feelings, very happy and it was very, very nice feeling. Wow, reading and candy, what could be better than that? For School Zone Dallas, I don't know if I'm going Alfonso. Now that's a story that all of us will never forget. Hey Daryl, check out the hallways here at Bonham Elementary. Every six weeks, students study a new culture or country through books, art, music, and dance. It's just one of the many ways that students here at Bonham Elementary experience learning hands-on. And recently, students at the high school level in DISD did something similar. Instead of just reading about career paths for after college, students actually went out into the workforce and experienced professional life firsthand through a unique program. Here's Orlando to fill us in. Thanks, Dale and Joanna. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a doctor? How about a disc jockey? Or maybe a transit engineer? Well, recently, some DISD students had the opportunity to do just that. Let's check it out. The job shadowing program came about uh, mainly just to help more kids graduate from high school and either go on to college or enter the workforce. So what we found is by helping them connect the dots between why they're in school uh, and, and actually see what they could do with that education, it, it helped them. So the blood's going to be going this way, but I'm going back. The job shadowing program is designed to give students an opportunity to learn about a variety of careers before they select a career pathway in the 10th grade. The students here at Baylor Heart and Vascular Hospital had the opportunity to watch a angiogram procedure done live. Our physicians and team members were so excited to be able to show the students what they do on a daily basis. We could not allow them to go into the room themselves, but we had the opportunity to teleconference it into our auditorium. They also had the opportunity to look at other aspects of healthcare here, non-invasive testing that is performed here, as well as some of the other areas of healthcare that we provide. I think the Woodrow Wilson students saw some really cool stuff. Who knows, there might be some future doctors in that class. Now, we're shifting gears and headed to DART with some Molina High School students. Let's find out what it takes to run this big operation. The students from Moses Molina are here at DART today to learn about careers in transportation. They will be shadowing mentors. We have DART employees who represent a variety of departments. The students have been assigned to follow, to shadow the mentors and learn more about what they do. The program that gave us the chance to go um, to the DART station was AVID at Molina. I like the program a lot. It helps us to be more successful for when we go on to college. It, they give us um, ideas of what we may want to be when we grow up. We feel the students benefit because they see how we interface, they see how we dress, how we behave. All of these are very, very important for our young people to know. Wow, the next time I hop on the light rail, I know about all the hard work it takes to make it a smooth ride. Speaking of rides, I'm off to my next gig. See you there. Whew, I made it just in time. Testing, one, two. <clears throat> Testing, one, two. Now we're going to see if some Samuel High School students can make the cut. Over the airwaves, that is. 99.5, the Wolf Smoke is in at 10.08, 58 degrees, 73 is where we're headed a little bit later on today. Well, we hope that the students that participate in the program will really get a sense of you know what the business world is like and what the radio world is like and and maybe more importantly understand that there's more to 
our business than just being in front of a microphone. If you think about for the number of employees that we have versus how many people are on the air, really the minority of the people on, uh, here are on the air. It's not a very big air staff. This might be something I might consider in the future because it made me think about pursuing a career and working at a radio station. Dallas Samuel students came in, they were well represented, they looked good, they were ready to learn, they were sharp kids, and it's always a blast for kids to come into a production studio like this and play around with the equipment. We actually recorded and produced a commercial right then, and I actually utilized them uh, in the uh, commercial. They get, to, they get to voice part of the script, they got to be involved in the actual uh, production process, and then they got a copy of the spot. That was awesome. All of the students sounded great. That's it for me. I'm exhausted. Back to you, Dale and Joanna. Thanks, Orlando. What a worthwhile experience. Plié, sagement, parabéré, those are French ballet terms that I can pronounce, but there's no way that I can do any of them. That's okay, because students at Eduardo Mata Elementary have it down. Timing, style, and poise are just a few things the students learn in the school's thriving ballet program. Here's Courtney to tell us more. When Eduardo Mata Elementary began its own after-school ballet program in 2003, they had no idea just how big the program would grow to be. Mata teachers Dixie Nambo and Gail Burdick began by partnering with the Texas Ballet Theater to sponsor and grow the program. Well, the program started with an idea that we'd love to see classical ballet in our school. Um, my daughter had taken ballet lessons when she was younger and we wanted to give the opportunity to our students here and within DISD to be able to follow on in middle school with dance and maybe ultimately go on to Booker T. Washington with the dance program there. We ended the, year, the first year with 26 and then last year we had 45 and this year it's been overwhelming. We have 87 in the program. It's just very exciting. Lots of students have loved the program from the beginning. Brenda Parker, Director of Dance at North Lake Community College, instructs three full ballet classes each week. The love of ballet, the love of dance, just moving your body, starts right here in the studio. And that's the penultimate to them. So we're not, although we're performance oriented, we are learning oriented. Everybody has to give, has to define a ballet term before they can even get into the classroom. And so the girls love the classroom as much as they love the performance. We do um, a warm-up, and we do a bar, and we do an adagio, an allegro, we go across the floor, and then we end up with a, a dance at, at the end of the semester. Our program, Ballet Mata, has been so successful uh, for a couple reasons. One, it's fun. Uh, it's a very positive program. Uh, our goal is to give these students the most exciting experience that they can have. Well, I decided to take it because it sounded fun. And when they told us that we would, there would be like French words, well, maybe I could learn French. Love for Ballet has created a new sense of excitement around the school. Posters and plaques are everywhere, from announcements of the upcoming fundraising events to posters inviting parents to accompany their child on an upcoming field trip to see a professional ballet company in action. The first time I saw my daughter, it was a recital here at Eduardo Mata, and it was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful to see her up there on the stage and doing her performance. It just brought joy to my heart, tears to my eyes. It's a great feeling. Um, being with my friends, dancing, and learning new things every day, and just being with my teacher, it's really nice. Our ballet program is very successful because of all the interest of the students and the parents, but also with our staff here at our school. We have the ballet boosters where a staff adopts a ballerina or a ballet student and encourages them and promotes you know, positive ideas and thinking to the children. And we just want to let them know that we couldn't do it without them and also with our administrators. Um, who support us and anytime we need something they're there to help us at the drop of a hat. You know if you ask a little three-year-old girl what she dreams of being she'll say oh I want to be a ballerina and you know and maybe we're fulfilling some of their dreams and seeing that they're possible. They're darling kids and they're they're humble and um, I think they know what they're getting now. I think they appreciate it even more. 
guys, it's all about ballet and Mata, and that's what I call beautiful. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Courtney. Thanks, Courtney, and special thanks to Ms. Burdick and Ms. Nambo for their hard work and dedication. Those are two great teachers that are making a difference in the DISD family. Absolutely. You're watching School Zone Dallas, the show that highlights positive people, places, and programs within the Dallas Independent School District. And today, our focus is on schools recognized as exemplary by the Texas Education Agency. An esteemed honor to be sure. We're coming to you from James B. Bonham Elementary School, a school named exemplary two years in a row. And now, we'll look at two other DISD exemplary schools, Julia C. Frazier Elementary and the School for the Talented and Gifted at the Yvonne A. Yule Townview Magnet Center. Let's first join Saul and then Christy who will fill us in. You know, it's truly incredible what graduates from the School for the Talented and Gifted go on to do and become. In fact, just last year, a former student took home more than $50,000 after appearing on the game show Jeopardy. There's no doubt, between these walls, big things are happening. Because what are the forces on this right now? 2 minus 3i and 2. These are the zeros. Okay, the operative. What was that? All right. He sails over and he conquers England. The Tag Magnet was established in 1982 as a school for the academically gifted. Our students are expected to go to college, to good colleges, to graduate from them, and most of them go on and get advanced degrees. And we prepare them here in high school to be ready to do well in colleges. And we offer many advanced placement courses. You know, if they like science, we have wonderful science teachers. If they like literature, we have wonderful literature teachers and uh, math and, you know, anything, anything they want. So that allows them the freedom to, to explore what they want and explore what they like, but at the same time expanding their, their overall knowledge base. So it, it's when they go off to college, they're a much more complete individual and a much more complete student. It's quirky and it's, and it's magical because of the different people we have. The students from different walks of life, different racial backgrounds, different religious backgrounds, and it all comes together and it's wonderful. It's the, the community experience that they get here. They're not only earning, you know, lots and lots of knowledge and, and high school degree and honors, but they're also finding friendships that will last a lifetime. Well, that's all from me here at the Talented and Gifted Magnet in Townview where students and staff are committed to nothing but the very best. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Seoul. I'm here with Kendall Jackson, a terrific third grader, and he has a recipe for success here at Frazier. One supportive area two superintendent, one dedicated principal, 25 committed teachers, 250 eager, intelligent students, one couple of awesome adopters, one fantastic general superintendent, Mix that all together and you'll get this one wonderful elementary school. I'm impressed. Here's more about what makes Julia C. Frazier tick. You have to get up pretty early in the morning to see what's really going on at Julia C. Frazier Elementary School. See how it ends right there? You're one by yourself. The day starts at 7 a.m. for some students who receive additional tutoring. We do school assessment every three weeks and when looking at the assessment of our boys and girls, we determine which students need the greater help. And so we offer additional tutoring in the morning time. We know they're going to come here for breakfast. So uh, as soon as they finish eating, we assign them to the various classroom and they get that additional help that they need. To say that TI is, is a, a heavenly set would be understated. TI gives us a grant every year for us to maintain a before school program. Uh, we're able to do an extended day program, and we do our own summer school program, and we get that through TI. On Mondays, uh, the first semester, uh, for about six weeks, they come out and tutor with us, give us their hard time, and uh, they come out and dedicate their lives to us. The impact we certainly hope to make, and, and we're proud of what we've done, and, and I'm proud of what the tutors have done, but we certainly can't stop here. And we can't stop until all of the kids in this neighborhood and in this school become productive and res responsible citizens. We find that quite often many of these kids don't have the parent in the home. 
So these adults, these adult tutors act as a friend and a listener to many of the kids. There you go. Good job. We believe that any time that you add an adult or a parent into the whole equation of the process of a children learning, that you, you struck a, a good card. We must recognize that the kids here at Fraser Elementary are the future to our city. They're the future to our community. They're our future workforce. So there's a tremendous need that we all join in to help these kids become successful. As a result, the students at Fraser score just as high, if not higher, than any school in Texas on standardized exams. We're very proud of that. Uh, people have come in and, and observed the boys and girls. I always keep asking, what are you looking for? Is just teaching, just good old fashioned teaching, good teachers, good boys and girls. And when they come in, they are surprised, and I think it may be because of where we are, but I, that doesn't have anything to do with it. If you get a good teacher, a good dedicated teacher, some good students and good parents working, you can achieve what we've done here at this school. Thanks, Christy. Very impressive. And speaking of impressive, have you heard of the progress of the Advanced Placement Program in DISD? This has all of us very excited. The Advanced Placement Program encourages students to take college-level courses and then rigorous tests to place them out of college classes. In the last 10 years, the number of DISD students who have taken and passed AP tests has increased by an astonishing 700%. And this past year, the Dallas Independent School District had the top two high schools in the state of Texas on the AP exam, the School for the Talented and Gifted and the School for Science and Engineering at the Yvonne A. Yule Townview Magnet Center. And just this month, the success of the AP program at the Science and Engineering Magnet prompted a visit from a very important person, not to mention a fellow Texan, the President of the United States, George W. Bush. Laura and I are here because um we believe it's important to spread AP classes all around the country. This is a unique place. The students here are really impressive people. And this school helps lift their sights. And one way it does so is to encourage uh, them to take AP. Again, I want to thank you all for letting us come to your school. It's a fantastic school. It's, uh, it really does uh, uh, brighten my hopes about the future of the country. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Wow, we can all expect great things from the AP program in DISD for many more years to come. And a key to that success is outstanding, dedicated teachers, something that DISD has plenty of. Here now we meet with one of them, an art teacher at Sunset High School, whose creativity and passion for teaching has no end. I first realized that I had artistic talent. When I was uh, in grade school, we had to do a, an artwork for Easter, and uh, me and this other guy won first place. I just loved it. I got serious about my artwork, I believe, when I was in college. And uh, I knew that it had to do something with art. Mr. Jeff has taught me to uh, do uh, faces with shadows and different kinds of drawings and paint. And he, uh, he helps me to um, if I start on something to finish it and uh, to do my best at everything I do. The students, in order to enter the AP program, they have to uh, uh, show me their portfolio. I have to recommend them for the program. They have to uh, show me that they're serious about the class and because it's the highest class of art in high school, actually it's a college equivalent to drawing 101 the one that I teach, so uh, I, I choose the students. I make it clear to the students that the grading is going to be done by a group of college and high school professors that grade them in New Jersey. We've seen their artwork. We've seen slides and uh, five of their original works. That's why I stay in the business of teaching because I get inspired and I really get uh, excited about seeing some beautiful work done by my students. Actually, I, uh, I learn from my students as well as they learn from me. We get some fresh new ideas and we share that bond of art between us.
I, uh, I like to play the guitar for the students while they're, they're doing their artwork. So I love playing guitar. And uh, it's not done every day, but once in a while I enjoy playing the guitar for them. And uh, they, they seem to enjoy it and uh, relax and do their artwork. I love having Mr. Chapa as a teacher because he tells you what you need help on and you know you learn many things in this class, you know, different techniques about how to shade and paint and what kind of drawings you can do. I have been teaching for over 30 years. My whole life is about art and teaching art and doing art. And I will keep teaching. I take it a year at a time. I love what I do. I feel very blessed because of what I do because I love coming to work. I love working with students. I like to see them succeed. It gives me great pleasure and pride. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's edition of School Zone Dallas. We hope you've enjoyed the program as much as we have bringing it to you. Special thanks goes out to DISC grad John Eagle and the John Eagle family of dealerships. Without his support, today's program would not have been possible. Thank you so much, John Eagle. And a big thank you goes out to all the staff and students here at Bonham Elementary. It's been a blast working with you. Join us here on KRA this May for a brand new episode of School Zone Dallas. But until then, keep it right here in, in the, the zone. zone. Hi, I'm Rafael here at the 10th anniversary celebration for the Avon Annual Town View Magnus Center. As you can see, they are doing it up in style. Today was 10 years of excellence. At the Yvonne A. Ewell Town View Center, we have been in existence for 10 years, and we're very honored to have celebrated Dr. Ewell's dream. Town View, great building, great teachers, great students, great atmosphere, everything. We have clubs, we have drama, we have recording, we got band, and today that is what we celebrated. It was incredible because I didn't know there were so many organizations. There are so many that people can join. I really did enjoy myself. Congratulations to Town View for 10 incredible years. And I'm sure we can all expect great things from them for many, many more. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Raphael. For more information about School Zone Dallas, visit our website at www.dallasisd.org slash schoolzone. Or you can send us an email at schoolzone at dallasisd.org. The John Eagle family of dealerships is proud to sponsor the Emmy award-winning School Zone Dallas, a showcase of DISD's successful commitment to prepare all students to graduate with the knowledge and skills to become productive and responsible citizens.